Um, before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Waha, Waka, Kwa Dash, giving double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone who will well teach well because those are the men who I've learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the hopeful elect, and shalom, shalom to you sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ. And pretty much this lesson is going to be titled as the woman at the well was not an Israelite. All right. The woman at the well was not an Israelite. She was a heathen. Now, I did a video and I slept up and said that the that the Samaritan woman was an Israelite, but she was a heathen. So in this lesson, I'm going to prove it that she was she was not an Israelite. And uh, I'm going to redo my other lesson because one thing about me is I do not like to say or slip out errors. I'll literally delete my whole entire video and do it over because at the end of the day, I am working out my own salvation and I don't like to teach something wrong. I want to teach it right and I do not want to be misleading anybody. Everything I bring out is truth to the best of my ability so we're going to go into this and we're going to get this out and then i'm going to go back on my next video today and have my title as uh the gen two types of gentiles because i made an error on there so i'm going to validate this part and then do that video next so lord willing this lesson is edifying and again so lock you on that i took the video down because i just it just didn't feel right because I don't like saying the wrong things. I want to be on point to the best of my ability. So let's get this breakdown in. Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. This is uh, John 4 and 1. It says, When therefore the Lord knew how the Pharisees had heard that Yahweh made and baptized more disciples than John. Verse 2. And it says, Though Yahweh himself baptized not, but his disciples verse three, it says he left Judea and departed again into Galilee. Verse four, it says, and he must, it says, it says, and he must needs go through Samaria, Samaria, right? Verse five, it says, then cometh he to the, to a city of Samaria, right? Which is called Sychar, Sychar near to the, the the per the purcell of ground that Jacob gave to his son Joseph, right? So Samaria is in the land of Israel. All right, Israelites are the ones that dwell in Samaria. All right, verse six, and it says, "Now Jacob's well was there." It says, "Yahweh therefore being worried with his journey, set thus on the well." And it was about the sixth hour. Verse 7. It says, There cometh a woman of Samaria drawing water. Yahweh Shai saith unto her, Give me a drink. So this woman was a heathen, basically. All right. She wasn't an Israelite. You know, at that point, you had Israel and you had the heathen nations dwelling in Samaria. All together, mixed. Verse 8. All right, verse eight, it says, for his disciples were gone away onto the city to buy meat. Verse nine, it says, then saith the woman of Samaria unto him, how is it that thou being a Jake askest drink of me, which am a woman of Samaria? For the Jews have no dealings with the Samaritans. See, so. What she said right there basically lets you know that this woman, right, the Samaritan woman wasn't an Israelite. You see, the Jews, they had no dealings with the Samaritans, all right? 
the Samaritans was basically heathen nations who weren't Israelites. All right. And this is the reason she asked the Messiah this question. So it shows you that she wasn't an Israelite. So, you know, Salakia on my part on that. I want to correct myself. So she was she was not uh, an Israelite. She was a she was a, a heathen, a natural heathen. She was a Gentile, a heathen. Verse 10. And it says, Yahweh answered and said unto her, If thou knowest the gift of Yahweh, and who it is that saith to thee, Give me to drink, thou wouldest have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. Verse 11. The woman saith unto him, Sir, thou hast nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. From whence then hast thou that having water? Verse 12. Art thou greater than our father Jacob, which gave us the well, and drank thereof himself, and his children, and his cattle? The heathens were brought over, you know, into the land. All right. They weren't keeping any laws. All right. The heathens didn't have the laws of the Lord because the Lord wasn't dealing with them. Dude. But the heathens, you know, they were brought over into the land. All right. They weren't keeping any laws. All right. Verse three, it says, Yahweh Shai answered and said unto her, whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again. Verse 14, but whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst but the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into the everlasting life, which is the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. All right. Verse 15. And it says, the woman saith unto him, sir, give me the water that I thirst not, neither come hither to draw. Verse 16. Yahweh Shai said unto her, go call thy husband and come hither. Verse 17, the woman answered and said, I have no husband. Yahweh Shai said unto her, Thou hast well said, I have no husband. Verse 18, and it says, For thou hast had five husbands, and he, and he whom thou hast is not thy husband, and thy saidest thou truly. Verse 19, the woman saith unto him, Sir, I perceive that thou art a prophet. Verse 20, our father worship in this mountain, and ye say that in Jerusalem is the place where men ought to worship. So this is what she was saying unto the Messiah, right? Verse 21, Yahweh Shai said unto her, woman, believe me, the hour cometh when ye shall neither in this land, uh, neither in this mountain, Salakia, nor yet at Jerusalem worship the father. Now we get into the, to the main point. This is what I want to get to, the main point. Uh, John 4 and 22, it says, ye, it says, how shall I say, ye worship, ye know not what, we know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. So that solves it right there, all right, because this woman don't know what she worships, all right. Yes, the heathens know of Yahweh Bashim Hashai, you know, of the mighty work of the Lord, you know, what the Lord did, you know, uh, during uh, the bringing up of our people out of uh, Egypt, right. You know, the heathen seen the works of the Lord, but the heathen don't actually know the Lord of Yahweh Bashim Shai like Israel do. All right. The heathens don't know the Lord like how we know our, our Lord. They know of the Lord, you know, the works, what he has done, but they don't know the Lord. They don't know the Lord like how we know the Lord. All right. I just want to get that out there. So, you know, that pretty much solves it there. You know, she, the, the Samaritan woman, she didn't know what she worshiped. We know what we worship. We know who we worship and serve, which is Yahweh Bashim Hashai. The Lord always only dealt with Israel. And I got a precept for that. Amos 3 and 1. It's Amos 3 and 1. It says, Hear this word that the Lord have spoken against you, O children of Israel. See? So we know our power. Our power knows us. It says, Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, verse 2, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. All right. So that was pretty much what it was talking about. All right. What was the Lord talking about? We know what the Lord was talking about. Right. He was talking about us. All right. And they got a precept for that. This is uh, 
Psalms 147 and verse 19, right? This is what this was talking about when you read Amos 3 and 1. Psalms 147 and 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob and his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. That's who the Lord is dealing with, the Israelites. That Samaritan woman, she was a heathen. She wasn't an Israelite. So again, it's a lucky on my part on that video. I'm going to redo my video over again. All right, because I slipped out and said that the Samaritan woman was an Israelite. So Salakia, she was not an Israelite. All right, she was not an Israelite. This is Psalms 147 and 19. He showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Because I was thinking about uh, something else. I was thinking about something else. Uh, Psalms 147 and 20. It says, he have not dealt so with any nation. As for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. So there you go. The Lord has always dealt with Israelites. Verse 19 all the way down to 20 in this precept is talking about Israelites. Amos 3 and 1 is talking about Israelites. When you read John 4 and 22, all right, that Samaritan woman was a heathen. She was not an Israelite. All right. So now we're going to go um, read this again. Psalms 147 and verse 20. It says, he, show, he, it says, he have... Not dealt so with any nation, and as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. So us knowing Yahweh Bashima Shai in that manner, it's us, you know, getting the last commandments and statutes of Yahweh Bashima Shai. So when Yahweh Shai, you know, told this woman, you know, told her this, you know, going to John four and twenty two, you know, she 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 know not know what she worship, you know, that's what Yahweh Shai was referencing to. All right, you know not what. You know, you know not, um, you know not what you worship. We know we worship for salvations of the Jews. So that shows you there she was not an Israelite. All right. Wrapping it up. And this is John 4 and 22. I want to get to that part. And I'll wrap it up with this. All right. Acts 4 and 22. It says, ye worship, ye know not what we know what we worship for salvation is of the Jews. So that Samaritan woman was not an Israelite. She was a heathen. And I want to do a lesson on this. To validate what I'm saying, you know, to correct myself first and foremost. So, the water to you, how my shy? And the water to the beloved brothers that let me know. Salaki so again, it slipped out. I said the wrong thing. The Samaritan woman was not an Israelite, she was a heathen. All right, she was a heathen. So, Lord Wellness Lessons that are fine. Just want to do a correction video on that. All praise to you, how about you, my shy? And Lord Wellness Lesson was that a fine. Till next time I say, Shalom.